G'day guys, and boy do I have my work cut out for me. See, Cameron and Scott, they've gone and caught a whole swag full of Taylor, and it's of course my job to fill them. But before I start filling them, I want to talk to you about a product that has sort of changed the way I think about a few things. See, my, my background is a butcher, and as a butcher, the one thing I, I needed to know was knives. My favourite knives anyone would know was always Vectronox until I got introduced to a new, a newish brand I suppose and it's a brand that's distributed by an Australian company and designed by a company here in Perth. The company that looks after them and designed them and all that is AOS and the brand of knives is of course Psycut. Now these knives, they're not overly new to the market I suppose, probably been out for a little while However, what they made sure they did was that they got it right. Now, of course, when I got them, being a butcher, I'm really skeptical on new knives. I always think, oh yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. But these were these were sort of bought to me as a, as a knife, I suppose, that would really suit the market of people that want to have a beautiful set of knives for the right price and nice and easy to sharpen. So I've taken them out and I've used these now for two months. So it's not like I've just picked them up and gone, oh, these are great. But no, these knives, Psycut, are actually a fantastic knife. Now the, the pack that I've got was the filleting pack, okay, which comes with a six inch boning knife. It comes with a nice big filleting knife there. And of course for fish filleting, oh, come out. You can't go past the skinning knife. Okay, now this knife here is bloody excellent. Now, why is this so suitable for beginners who are potentially a bit scared to sharpen their knives? They come with a hand handheld sharpener standard. Now, personally, as a butcher, I'm still a believer in the sharpening stone. And this is not saying that I would personally use flat out. However, on the run, I do use it because I'm not going to be carrying a stone down the beach. And I mean, it's as simple as, what well, literally, Pull your knife down like that, all right? Like that, and it's all done. That's as simple as it gets, okay? So you hold your hand in there, heel of the knife in, and run the full length, okay? And that really does put an edge back on this knife. And I mean, these knives stay razor. The good thing is as well, they come in a beautiful canvas bag that's made here in Perth as well. Um, so what you're really doing is you're supporting a fantastic um, Australian company. Now what we're going to do in a further video from this one is we're actually going to go through the history of AOS and why they're such a fantastic brand. But for this particular video, we'll keep it on fish filleting. So look, let me show you how well these knives really do. We'll pull out one of the tailor that Cameron and Scott got this morning. Here we go. And just watch how simple this really is. That goes through like butter. Come up the backbone, and I'm not putting any pressure on this knife at all, okay? Just run down the backbone like that. Look, I mean, look. It's just doing a fantastic job, okay? We'll come up over these ribs, right? And there's a fantastic clean fillet. But look at how clean that frame is. We didn't leave a single bit of fish on that frame. And guys, a lot of people say that comes down to fish filleting technique, and I suppose it does a little bit. But what's most important with getting clean frames on your fish, and of course the most you possibly can um, off your fish, is always going to be a sharp knife. Now I've just realised that I reckon this little flappy may have been in your way, but that's alright, that's not going to affect anything. Just adds a bit of a wind chime to the video. So let's knock the other side off the tailor, um, just quickly. We'll just run down. Now, I've, I've, I've filleted this one a bit like a Muppet um, because in my eyes, when filleting fish, you, sh you should never ever take the other fillet off before you finish the other side because it gives you an elevated working platform and enables you to really get what you need to get off. But, you know, there it is, another beautiful fillet and a beautiful frame for crab bait. Remember, I did mention that, guys. Taylor frames, fantastic crab bait. So guys, now that you've seen how stupidly sharp these knives are and how easy they are to keep an edge on them with the side cut um, knife sharpener, 
dragger thing, I'll call it. <laughs> um, they're brilliant. It does, and keep in mind, guys, I will just say, look, this is not a substitute for a, a sole substitute for a stone and a steel. However, for the guy who just wants to fillet fish plainly and doesn't want to get involved in edge angles and so forth, this is your tool. This is actually a great tool. It's just I'm stuck in my ways with, um, with, with the way I like stones and whatnot. So guys, keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed this little um, little episode on the side cut knives. You're gonna see plenty of them in all, the, all of our future episodes. Um, because look, as I said, they are brilliant and I just enjoy using them. And that's coming from a butcher. So guys, all the best and we'll catch you on the next episode. See you then.